Hello and welcome to day 90 of our fall pursuit. Well, today I'm reading from uh, the Silencio book again, and the second chapter is actually entitled Listening Prayer. He says, uh, tell me about your prayer life. Often elicits descriptions of times of day and intercessory lists. Tell me about the life of prayer may open up the description to include commentary on worship songs, devotional guides, and accompanying practices such as fasting or retreat days. But it's not until we ask, tell me about your communion with God, that we start to get to the heart of prayer. The author goes on to talk about prayer is not just monologues, thrown out hoping the other person listens and hears. It's conversation and it's dialogue. It's speaking and listening. So I think sometimes what I find in my counseling with people over the years, I find people have a hard time knowing that they know the voice of God. I'm going to suggest to you today that you would practice quiet and you would practice the listening skills that you would normally practice on a given conversation. Someone walks into my office, I listen intent, I'm, I'm, I'm intentional about listening to everything they're saying. I'm not waiting for them to shut up so I can say something back to them. I'm actively listening to everything they have to say. I want you to know that as you speak to God, He wants to speak back to you. He wants to say general things like, I love you, child, come sit upon my lap. He also wants to say specific things too. He wants to give you direction. So listening prayer is about conversation, communion, giving, receiving. So today I want to encourage you, the only way you can really do this is uh, to shut out all the noise. You have to do that first of all. Shut off all the noise, the phones, the machines, the radios, the TVs, the, all the noise around you. We live in an incredibly noisy culture and society. You have to be shh, quiet, alone before you can hear. So I'm going to pray for you today that you have good listening skills. That as the Lord would speak to you, you would pick up on every word, every syllable, every nuance. And then once you've heard his word with your listening ear, then you simply obey. So Lord, here we are. We're just your kids. Now we're just your sons and daughters, Lord. We, we really desire for an intimate relationship with you. Not a cursory, not a far off uh, transient relationship, but an intimate, carefully prepared heart. We want to give to you today. Open up the ears of our uh, open up the ears of our spirit to hear the things you would like to say to us, Lord. I pray we have the self discipline to be alone and quiet, and we are anxiously listening for your every word spoken to our heart. In Jesus' name, Amen. Get alone today and hear what He has to say to you.